All right, guys, welcome back to the farm. And today we're in the shop. Got my engine block and heads back from the machine shop. Still wrapped up, but uh, we're gonna get started here in a minute. And uh, before we get started, I'll show you how it looks. This looks like guys got new freeze plugs got new cam bearings uh, he did deck the the block on the heads kind of upside down but they have been decked and of course I got some more goodies I got the ARP uh, Intake manifold bolts. I got ARP head bolts. We're going to be using Hastings piston rings. Uh, got a new, new oil pump shaft for melling. Felpro gaskets. Melling select. High torque cam, Johnson high lift lifters. Never used those before. What the pistons look like? He did resize the rod ends. Some of them were pretty well out, but uh, so all these are ready. Brand new harmonic balancer from Summit. I like about this one. As you can tell, it's got the timing marks. It tells you where the timing is on it. I bought a ring compressor for 30 over 350. And I've got some thread restoring bits that we'll be using to chase these threads. You always want to chase your threads on these blocks, especially head bolts, and um, clean them out good. The uh, thread chasers are not quite like taps. They don't actually cut, they just clean. If you use a tap, sometimes you can sharpen your threads on those inside there and you'll actually make it worse so anyway first step is when we're going to take these main bearing caps off and i'm going to give this thing a good bath now it's fairly clean from the machine shop but you always want to make sure everything is really really clean before you start putting stuff back together so i'm going to have to go drag a hose up Get me some soapy water and uh, we'll clean this block up good, blow it off, and then we'll start installing the cam. All right, guys, I got her kind of sloping downhill. I got a little drain right there that water's going to run out of. And so I can wash it off inside this building here. Won't, won't hurt nothing. But I uh, got her turned up now where you can kind of see the the head surface looks pretty good so what we're going to do is we're going to wash these cylinders out real good we're going to get down in these lifter valleys good and then I'm going to rinse it off got just a little bit of casting sand right here but I doubt it'll come out this thing's been through the washer probably twice over at the shop so we'll rinse her off and then uh, blow, her, blow all that water out all the holes and then we can start running the uh, thread chaser. So I'll set you up and show you how I'm gonna do this. What I got guys is a, just a bottle brush and some soapy water. And I'm just gonna soak this thing down good. Get 
This is just a nylon buckle brush so it shouldn't bother. It shouldn't scratch nothing. The main thing we want to make sure we get all the grinding of uh, any metal or anything out of these cylinders that was left from uh, from holding in the boring process. And because uh, you want these cylinders as clean as you can get them. Of building this engine from pretty detailed. I want y'all to see what I'm doing. And uh, so, if you want to do this job yourself, you can, you can look back. See how, you know, this is, this is my opinion of how I'm going to do my engine. You may have a different opinion. You may, you may do yours differently. That's fine. A lot of people will uh, go cut this water off. I'll get back to you on that. A lot of people will uh, spend a lot of time checking bearing clearances and all that stuff, and that's fine if that's what you want to do. Uh, I have used. <laughs> I have used that, uh, uh, to call it a little string you put in there. And, and all that. But I can tell you, the guy I use at the machine shop, he's a professionalist. He's going to he's gonna have to check all my clearances for me. Alright, so when you get your engine dry, and I guess I could have should have done this before I washed it. I washed it. Uh, this is a thread chaser. And this is a 7 16 coarse thread. And what you want to do is just go down all these uh, all these head bolt holes and make sure they're clean. And I already put all, all these cylinders back up on this bank. I'm going to wait to do the next bank until I get this done. Just in case I get some grit. I'm going to try not to get grit in my oil. But I don't want them to flash rust either. You can see this thing's screwing in pretty easy. Now if it was a tap, you would, uh, you'd have, you, you couldn't do this by hand with a tap. This is basically a bolt with slots cut in the threads that catch uh, 
any trash, dirt, rust. So you could probably do the same thing with an old head bolt if you cut you a couple, couple of grooves in it, in the slots or in the threads. So I'm gonna do this with every head bolt. I'm gonna do it with every hole that a bolt goes in this block. I'm gonna chase that thread down. So yeah, it's time consuming, but if you want an accurate torque, you need to make sure your threads are clean. So, of course I'm not gonna film all that, but basically that's what I'm doing. I'm starting, starting here and going all the way around. I still gotta get these middle ones to think, but uh, let me get you a close up view of this thing maybe. That's what it looks like. So anyway, stay tuned. We'll get back, uh, get ready to put this crank in. Be next step after I get all these head bolts chased. Get everything good and dry.